Hello, in this video we're going to find the absolute maximum and absolute minimum of the function f of x equals sine x plus cosine x over the interval 0 comma pi over 3. So f of x is a continuous function because sine and cosine are both continuous and the sum of continuous functions is continuous. Whenever you have a continuous function on a closed interval, there's something in calculus called the extreme value theorem which basically guarantees that you're going to be able to find an absolute maximum and an absolute minimum. All right, let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So the steps are as follows. First step is to find the critical numbers of this function that lie between zero and pi over three. So we'll start by taking the derivative. So f prime of x equal to, so the derivative of sine x is cosine x, and then the derivative of cosine x is minus sine x. We're looking for critical numbers. Critical numbers are numbers in the domain of the function where the derivative is undefined or zero. This derivative is never undefined. Let's set it equal to zero. And basically we just add sine x to both sides and we get cosine x equals sine x. Now this equation alone has infinitely many solutions. However, we're restricted to the interval zero pi over three. So let's draw a little picture over here on the left. Try to think about what's going on. So here's a picture of the unit circle. And so pi over three is maybe this angle right here. Okay, this is pi over three. And let's think about uh, where um, cosine is equal to sine. Well, that's going to happen from memory. This is just from pure memory. It's going to happen at this angle here, which I'll draw in blue. This angle here is pi over 4. And that's true because the cosine of pi over 4 is the square root of 2 over 2, and the sine of pi over 4 is also the square root of 2 over 2, so they're equal at pi over 4. So this is x equals pi over 4. Note that pi over 4 is between 0, because this is 0, is between 0 and pi over 3, so it's certainly in this interval. So now that we have the critical number, which is pi over 4, what we do is we just check the critical number and the endpoints, 0 and pi over 3. We plug them into our original function. The biggest number we get is the maximum, the smallest we get is the minimum. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with 0. So f of 0 is equal to the sine of 0 plus the cosine of 0. And the sine of 0 is 0, and the cosine of 0 is 1. You get 0 plus 1, so you get 1. Let's go ahead and do pi over 4. So f of pi over 4 is going to be equal to the sine of pi over 4 plus the cosine of pi over 4. which is equal to the square root of two over two plus the square root of two over two. And if you have the square root of two over two plus the square root of two over two, you're gonna have two times the square root of two over two. The twos cancel, and so you just get the square root of two. Now let's do pi over three, f of pi over three. Gonna be the sine of pi over three plus the cosine of pi over three. And just from memory, the sine of pi over 3 is the square root of 3 over 2. The cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. This is equal to the square root of 3 plus 1 all over 2. It would be extremely helpful to know what these numbers are in terms of decimals. So the square root of 2 is approximately 1.4. The square root of 3 plus 1 over 2 is approximately 1.37. So the maximum in this case is going to be the biggest number we got. That's going to be the square root of two. So this is going to be our maximum. And the smallest number we got is one. So this is going to be our minimum. Let's just go over the steps really briefly one more time so you can understand this because it's not hard once you know the steps. Whenever you're looking for the absolute maximum and absolute minimum of a function on a closed interval, you always find the critical numbers. So you take the derivative, set it equal to zero. Just visually inspect the derivative. Is it undefined anywhere? No, it's not. Some people say, what does undefined mean? You know, if you have a fraction or like, you know, division by zero or something funky with square roots, nothing's going on here, so no issues. 
set it equal to zero, solve. We use some trig knowledge and we got pi over four. We wanna make sure that pi over four is between zero and pi over three, and it is. After you find your critical numbers, you take your critical numbers, which in our case was just one, pi over four, and your endpoints, which are zero and pi over three, and you go back to the original function. One of the most common mistakes is people don't go back to the original, they plug it into the derivative. So you go back to the original function like we did here, and you just work it out. And then the biggest number you get, that's gonna be your absolute maximum, and the smallest number you get, that's going to be your absolute minimum. Hopefully this video has taught you some mathematics. Until next time, good luck, take care.